So hello and welcome back to the session of Quicken Tech Talk Series. So hello everyone and welcome back to uh, today weekend TikTok series. And let me first introduce myself. My name is Mawaldir Hamajit and I'm from Aydin Body School, especially vocational high school. And today I will be the host of this session of Putin Talk, Talk series. And today we are gonna be talking about artificial intelligence by Refeno. Refeno, maybe you can telling yourself first. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Refeno Dragamutra. Maybe you will made before and previous video about introducing to Linux. So let me introduce myself again. My name is Ravina Jigamutra. I'm from 10 RPL and I'm from uh, IDM Board School Jungle, Focational High School. And so in today's occasion, I would like to talk about artificial intelligence, but from the basic and what is the principle of artificial intelligence? What does it mean and how it becomes a very, very um, life changing for humans. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so today we are just gonna be start our agenda today. And, um, Refeno, you can tell what is artificial intelligence. Is. Okay, thank you, Maul. So, uh, let's just uh, start with what is artificial intelligence. So if we want to make it simple, uh, artificial intelligence is basically uh, a robot that human made. So uh, wait, I will present my screen first before continuing the thing. Okay. Okay, based in the Wikipedia, artificial intelligence is the intelligence of machines or software as opposed to the intelligence of human or animals. It is field of study in computer science and which develops and studies intelligent machines such machines may be called AI. So basically AI is artificial intelligence that is made by humans as opposed of the intelligence of humans or animal. So uh, artificial intelligence is basically like a human or perhaps an animal that have an, an intelligence, but it's artificial, not natural. So how do AI learn things? Like uh, the majority of things that AI, AI learns is all about computer science or computer things, but it can be helpful, helpful uh, so like, for example, uh, that we always use uh, in today's occasion, we use uh, uh, ChatGPT or the, and then we use UAI and then, yeah, another type of AI, like Dolly Mini, an image generator AI that can generate uh, any image if you just give a prompt to that AI. So artificial intelligence is basically uh, life-changing inventions that human made. Uh, so AI technology is widely used throughout industry, government, and science. And science. Some high-profile applications are advanced web search engines like Google search recommendation system used by YouTube, Amazon, and Netflix, understanding human speech such as Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa, self-driving cars, <clears throat> Waymo, generative and creative tools such as ChatGPT and AI art, and superhuman play and analysis in strategy games such as chess and go so <clears throat> basically artificial intelligence is uh, not is can do whatever that human can do so just like text said uh, the text said it can give you recommend recommendations on what you like and then it can understanding human speech as Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa, self-driving cars, Waymo, or Tesla, and generative and creative tools such as ChatGPT and AI art. So, uh, the various subfields of AI research are centered around particular goals, 
and the use of particular tools, the traditional goals of AI search, including reasoning, knowledge presenting, planning, learning, natural language processing, perception, and support for robotics. So uh, AI search included, as just like I said before, knowledge, presentative, and something like that, uh, etc., is uh, like helping humans on doing their basic things, doing their uh, like pro uh, like tasks that they are need to do, such as ChatGPT. Uh, you have an an article to write, but you only have like three more minutes before submitting it. Submitting it. So yeah, ChatGPT can help you by just writing a whole article in just one minute, or maybe less than a second. Why? Because artificial intelligence, just like I said, is an intelligence that can learn by themselves uh, a hundred couple of times, not like humans. Humans learn things slowly, but AI, artificial intelligence, a computer, they doesn't need a rest. So they can learn things fastly and doesn't require anything. Uh, uh, well, they require some source to know what the hell that they are learning about but as a but as a human okay you need a source and then you need to take a shower or, or you need to do your daily basis like sleeping eating and then taking a rest because you are a human not a robot so uh artificial intelligence is basically a superhuman because it's a robot it doesn't it's a robot that doesn't need uh, things to to make this bot or artificial intelligence run they just need electricity internet connection maybe and then a server that's three crucial thing that ai needs and they and if you give them these three props they just gonna do all the things without any hesitation and then we're not uh, without limitation so ai would know like how to make a uh, rock a space rocket ship within like perhaps one month well as human we need to wait for 50 years on knowing how to make a rocket ship why because ai doesn't need a sleep doesn't need a rest or anything else uh, so their progress on, on learning something is way faster than us so and then the goals of the uh, the general problem of simulating or creating intelligence has been broken down into sub problems this consists of particular traits or capabilities that uh, researchers expect expect an intelligent system to display the traits described below have uh, received the most attention and cover the scope of AI researchers reasoning problem solving so uh, and then the second is knowledge presentation, representation, and then the third is planning on decision making, and then learning, natural language pro uh, processing, and then perception, social intelligence, general intelligence. So those seven things that uh, the scientist is uh, trying to achieve to make AI more more <coughs> natural. So. They are trying to make AI more like human-like. So we as a human can do an interaction with those AI without anything weird. Like we will just like talking to a same uh, a normal person, not a robot at all. And then AI researchers uses a wide variety of tools to co accomplish the goals above. So the tools that those uh, developers use uh, there is a lot of variety variety that uh, those developers use. Like for example, uh, they use the source code for uh, use uh, and then code it using Python, C programming language, C sharp, C plus all the all those programming language. They build it from scratch, and then here we are uh, using AI as our daily basis. And then uh, logic. Formal logic is used for reasoning and knowledge representation. Formal logic comes in two main forms. Proportional logic, which operates on statements that are true or false and use logical 
connectivities such as and or not and implies and predicate logic which is also uh, operates on objects predicates and relations and uses quantifiers such as every x is a y and there are some axes that are y's logical uh, inference or dedication is the process of proving a new statement conclusion conclusion from other statement that are already known to be true the premises a logical knowledge base also handle quite a uh, Christ uh, and assert assert assertions as a special case of inference so uh this is ty these are type of logics that ai use a formal uh, form a formal logic is used for reasoning so first uh, logic is professional logic and then the second one is log uh, is a predicate logic so uh let's get back to the tools of or maybe uh like the goals of these developers on ai on like what they they want to their ai to be uh neutrally understand this type of knowledge so first uh let's we debunked uh, the reasoning problem solving Early, early researchers developed an uh, algorithm that maintains step-by-step reasoning that humans use when they solve puzzles or make logical uh, dedu dedu deductions by the late uh, 1980s and 1990s. Uh, methods were developed for dealing with uncertain or incomplete information, employing concept of probability and economics. So, uh, so, uh, uh, researchers, so, uh, researchers are researching on how these AI can do a problem solving that is a uh, very human, humane, and very logical to humans. So many of these algorithms are insufficient for solving large reasoning problems because they are experienced because they experience a combine combinatorial explosions. And they became ex exponentially slower as they pro as the problems grew larger. Even humans rarely use the step by step dedication that early AI researcher called model. They solve most of their problems using fast, intuitive judgment, accurate, and efficient reasoning is an unsolved problem. And then knowledge uh, representation. Knowledge representation and knowledge engineering allow AI programs to answer questioning questions intelligently and make dedication, deductions about real world facts. Formal knowledge re representation are used in content-based indexing and retrieval scene interpretation clinical decision support knowledge discovery discovery mining interesting uh, mining interesting and actionable inferences from larger database and other areas uh, knowledge base is a body of knowledge represented in a form that can be used by a program an ontology is the set of objects relations concepts and pro properties used by particular domain of knowledge Knowledge base need to represent things such as objects, properties, categories, and relation between objects, situations, events, states, and time, causes and effects, knowledge about knowledge, what we know about what other people know, default reasoning, things that humans assume that true until they are told different, uh, dif uh, differently and will remain true even when uh, other language are charging, and many other aspects that and domain of knowledge among those difficult problem in kr are the breadth of common sense knowledge the set of atomic facts that the average person knows in enormous and the sub symbolic form or most common knowledge much of what people know is not represented as facts or statements that they could express verbally uh, knowledge acquisition is the, is the difficult problem of obtaining knowledge for a application. 
modern AI gathers knowledge by scrapping the internet, in, inclu uh, including Wikipedia. The knowledge itself was collected by volunteers and professionals who, pl who publish the information, who may or may not have agreed to, to provide their work to AI companies. This crowdsourced technique does not guarantee that the knowledge is correct or reliable. The knowledge of large language models, such as ChatGPT, is highly unreliable. Unre it generates misinformation and falsehoods known as hallucinations. Providing accurate knowledge for this modern AI application is, un is an unsolved problem. So it is actually a big problem for those AI developers because uh, uh, those AI that is searching knowledge or uh, knowledge of presentations uses uh, open source knowledge from volunteers or perhaps uh professional who publish their information including in wikipedia so uh like example ChatGPT. if you ask something on what is the independence day of america and then he uh, the ai automatically searches it uh, or scrapping uh, it information from internet so it's not that reli reliable and then planning and decision making an agent is is anything that perceives and takes action in the world a rational agent has goals of preferences and takes action to make them happen in automated planning the agent has a specific goal in automatic decision making the agent has preferences there are some situation it will prefer to be in and some situation it is trying to making the agent has uh, trying to avoid uh, the decision making agent assigns a number to each situation called the utility that measures how much the agent prefers it for each possible action it can calculate the expected utility the utility of all possible outcomes to the action with it by the probab probability that the outcome will occur it can choose the action with the maximum expected utility so and then learning machine learning is the study of programs that can improve their performance on a given task automatically it has been a part of ai from the beginning there are several kinds of machine learning unsupervised learning analyzes a stream of data and finds patterns and make prediction without any other guidance supervised learning requires a human to label the input data first and then uh, and come into main varieties classification where the program must learn to predict what category input belongs in belongs in and regression well the program where the program must deduce a numeric function based on numeric input and then natural language processing natural uh, language processing or nlp allows program to read write and communicate with human language such as english and then specific problems with speech recognition, speech synthesis, machine translation, information extraction, information retrieval, and questioning answering. Early work based on Noam Chomsky's generative grammar and sem sem semantic networks had difficulty with word sense disambiguation unless restric restricted to small domains called microworlds. Due to the common sense knowledge problem, uh, Margaret Masterman <clears throat> believed that it was meaning and not grammar that was the key to understanding language. Uh, and that this sorry, uh, and not dictionaries should be the basis of conventional, th uh, conventional language structure. Modern deep learning techniques for NLP uh, include word embedding, representing words typical as factors encoding their meaning, Trans transformers, a deep learning architecture using an attention mechanism, and others. In 2019, generative pre-trained transformer or GPT language model began to generate concurrent text. And by 2023, these models were able to get human level scores to on the bar exam, SAT, GRE, and many other real world applications. And then perception. Machine perception is the ability to use input from sensors such as camera, 
microphones, wireless signal, uh, active lighter sonar, uh, radar, and tactile sensor. To the to the deuce aspect of the world, computer vision is a is the ability to analyze visual inputs. Uh, the field includes speech recognition, image classification, facial recognition, object recognition, robotic and robotic perception. This is the example of image recognition, features uh, detection. It's pictured uh, from edge detection uh, used by the Microsoft Edge. Helps add composite information abstract it's a structure out of raw data and then social intelligence effective computing is an interdisciplinary umbrella that compri comprise system that recognize interpret process or simulate human feelings emotion emotion and mood for example for some virtual assistants are programmed to speak conversationally or even to banter humorously it makes them appear more sensitive to the emotional dynamics of human interaction or to otherwise facilitate human computer interaction. However, this tends to give naive uh, user an unrealistic conception on how intelligent exist existing computer agents actually are. Uh, moderate success related to uh, effective computing include textu textual sentiment analysis and more recently, uh, multimodal sentiment analysis where AI classifies the effects displayed by a videotape subject and then less general intelligence a machine with artificial intelligence should be able to solve a wide variety of problems with breadth and versatility to similar uh, similar to human intelligence so basically social intelligence is the type of AI that uses like a mood so it can interact with humans more interact with human more naturally why because uh, as a human we need uh, some like uh human interaction even though it's a robot but we can yeah feel like we're texting or talking to a real human so yeah i think that's that's all that i can explain about this artificial intelligence so yeah thank you for listening to my presenting okay Maldi. okay thank you Rafaela, for this uh we can take talk about artificial intelligence and that's pretty interesting because today's we got artificial intelligence or we can say ai is a pretty good um technology which can help a lot of people that uh, for their own job and that's a good thing about ai well maybe only that that what I, what i read for today so yeah i think this is the end of the uh we can take talk stories about artificial intelligence so yeah let me close this up thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in next weekend tech talk with me and repino okay bye